This is a quick tip on how to work with the tag selector and the quick tag editor. These are two features that have been in Dreamweaver forever, but I don't see a lot of people using them, honestly. So it, they're, they're really pretty useful. Now, if I stick my cursor somewhere in a page that I have open, and I take a look down here, I'm going to see my tag selector right down there. So this is showing me all the tags that are available, or that are, I guess you could say, uh, applied to this content. So it's the um, parent-child relationship for all my content. Now, if I look to the far right, I'll see the last tag applied. What's cool about the tag selector is if you guys click on a tag down here, it selects the content on the page. So as I keep clicking, you'll see that it's going to keep selecting content on the page. Now, you'll notice that some of these have dots in them. That means it can't quite fit in this area. So if you hover over it, you can actually see a tooltip. You can also take your, your uh, panels over here and just collapse them to icons, and usually it helps a little bit. There we go, not too bad. Now, the cool thing about working with this stuff is, let's suppose that we want to edit something. I need to edit the code, okay, for you guys that do edit code. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and click on a picture here. If I click on something on the page and I want to edit its code, I can use the Quick Tag Editor. It's Control-T or Command-T on Mac. Control-T will come up and bring this little Quick Tag Editor. I can go in and do stuff like add, you know, local styling or, you know, whatever I want. Of course, I'm doing border, which really stinks. Um, border, and I can't even spell. One tick solid, and I'll do light gray or something like that. There we go. So you can do a nice, easy edit that way. Okay, so that's a quick tag editor. You can also come down here to the tag selector, and if you right-click on one of the tags, you can use quick tag editor right down here as well, which is pretty cool. Now, here's something that I find to be really useful, a way to get rid of a tag. This is a situation a lot of people run into. If you guys click on a picture, let's say you guys have a picture in your header or somewhere, it doesn't matter, and you're seeing a gap that you don't need in here. You're like, what's that gap from? Well, a lot of times we have leftover tags that are there, like a P tag or an H tag for a heading. And if you click on an image and you look down in your tag selector, if you see something like a paragraph or an H1 or H2 or something like that, you might not need it. Okay, so suppose I don't need this paragraph tag here. A great way to be able to get rid of a tag, instead of having to delete the image, is to right-click on the tag you don't want and remove the tag. So if I choose Remove Tag, it'll only remove the tag that I suggest it to remove. Now, if you remove a div, you know, it probably remove the, the uh, you know, a lot of the things as well. So you got to kind of be careful with that. You can also undo if you remove the wrong thing or it removes too much. Anyway, Quick Tag Editor is a great way to be able to edit things, especially, you guys, if you're doing HTML email and you're trying to work on text and doing editing, you do want to be careful with the Quick Tag Editor because if you don't select the entire thing, and you go to Control T on Windows or Command T on Mac right now, it won't select or it won't show you the tag out there. So a lot of times what I do is I either try and select everything, Control T or Command T, you notice it doesn't do it there, or I'll go down to the bottom. I'll insert my cursor, go down to the tag selector, click on the tag, Control T or Command T, and you'll notice it then shows you the actual tag up here. Okay. So there's a lot of ways to do this. There's tons of shortcutting here, but I just wanted to show you guys the tag selector and being able to work with the, um, the tag inspector as well.